Hi, this is Ken Boyd with the Accounting Accidentally website. This is our home page where you'll find over 300 blog posts. And if you slide down to the middle of the page, over 400 YouTube videos. I wanted to talk about what I think is one of the most difficult subjects on the CPA exam and in intermediate accounting, which is deferred taxes. So the beginning of this first part, we're going to talk about a deferred tax example that is based on a difference between depreciation methods for book accounting income and for tax. So the why of deferred taxes is book or accounting income is different than income on the tax return. The specific difference I'm talking about today is the depreciation expense is different between book and tax. And so what I've listed here is here's the pre-tax accounting income each year. This is what we've earned before we calculate depreciation. This line is depreciation for tax purposes. Obviously, we take the difference between the two and we come up with taxable income. We have a tax rate in the blue square and we come up with taxes payable. And we do that for four years, 09 to 012. What this part of the chart shows, and this is probably the most difficult is, what is the difference or the temporary difference between the book method of depreci depreciation and the tax method. So we see for the book method, we use the straight line method of depreciation, $30,000 a year for four years. The tax rate of depreciation, on the other hand, is an accelerated method. We have more depreciation in the early years, less in the, 80, in the later years. So we come up with something called a temporary difference. So if I click on 2009, you'll see that tax is higher than book by $9,600. Here, tax is higher than book by 228, 22,800. Then it flips. In later years, there's more book depreciation than tax, so the temporary difference reverses. Tax is different, tax is less. 2012, tax is less. So here, 09, 010, the tax method is more, 09, 010, 11 and 12, the tax method is less. The important thing to know is, is that in total, depreciation is the same regardless of which method you use because you're depreciating the same amount of dollars. No difference in total depreciation in red. What we use with this information is we come up with temporary differences that create deferred taxes and deferred liabilities. And this is in the next box down here, where we figure out the cumulative difference by year. We multiply it by a tax rate, and we come up with an ending balance that's going to get end up and get posted in journal entries down here. That's as far as we'll get for right now. Remember that if you're studying for the CPA exam or for an accounting course, you can have live test prep and conference room, here's the address. If you click on explore, you go into the feed. And what you'll see on the left hand side is courses. If you click on courses, you'll see that right now as of this recording, we have three different live chat courses that you can attend. There'll be more added. And you'll also see a book down the road. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.